he's a guy that a couple of the quarterbacks were mentioning, some of the veterans. Is, yeah, good he's a guy that's really impressed him this point of the season. Yeah, so he's, he's very skilled. You know, I, I think I mentioned that to y'all at the bowl. You know, I mean, I got the chance to see, get a sneak peek of him at the bowl. And he's just a, he's just a smooth, very instinctive, very natural player. And uh, it's very important to him. But he can run. Uh, he's got he's got really good technique. He's got excellent ball skills. Uh, and he's incredibly competitive. You know, so you know, all those things are going to serve him well. Um, but he's, he's, he's not been overwhelmed. He's picked things up. You know, he's shown up and competed every single day. And, I mean, he's a, he's a, as I said about the whole group, that entire group is just what we hope they'd be. I feel like Hunter Helms has developed into a pretty good number two. Well, I think the biggest thing is, is he's gotten in a little better shape. He's changed his body. You know, he's not a, he's not a guy that's going to make a million plays with his legs. Um, but he's he he's very smart. He understands the game. He knows he knows you know the offense. He understands the defense. And uh, but he's really changed his composition, and that that's really I think helped him. I mean, he's leaned up and uh, looks good. He's moving a little bit better. But uh, you know, he's done a he's done a great job. I mean, he's a guy that you know you can depend on. And uh, you know, I, uh, CV like I said is is. I mean, it's just easy to see the talent. I mean, the kid can really run, really run, and uh, and he's got a big arm. He can absolutely rip it. So we we've got a really good situation there. And then, hey, hey, Paul hadn't been able to practice. Hopefully, he'll be able to do some things, you know, post spring break. So we'll, we'll see. But uh, I feel good about you know the guys that we have uh, for sure. And then Cade is has really just continued to 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 rise from where he was in finishing the season. How different is Tristan Lee from where he was when he arrived? Um, kind of like different person. He's not even. I mean, it's he was a. I mean, compared to that guy, I mean, you know, that guy was <coughs> was a twenty, and this guy is an eighty. Uh, you know, compared to who he was when he got here, coming out of COVID, no football, you know, out of shape, uh, not strong, hadn't been in a weight room. I mean, he's completely different. I mean, he's really. Really, really worked hard. I mean, he is, I'm, he's one of the guys I'm so proud of because a lot of guys aren't very self aware, and he is. Uh, and he, he, he has really worked hard to, to just do everything he needs to do to be a better version of himself. And um, whether it's physically, nutritionally, weight room wise, film wise, knowledge wise, he's just a guy that works all the time. It's very important to him to be a great player. And uh, so he, it's, I mean, he's, he, he's so far from the guy that showed up here, uh, but he's still a young player, you know, so, uh, but really pleased with, with uh, you know, he's done some really good things. He's, he's missed some plays too, you know, just communication and things, but nobody wants it more than Tristan, that's for sure. Coach, yep. no. I was just going to say, you, you've had a lot of guys you talk about arrive ready, you pop them out of the box and they're ready to go. Just where does some of those guys across the district. Is anybody we've had? I mean, it's it's easy to see. I mean, it's just he's he's a problem. <laughs> he's a problem. Coach has uh, Sage kind of stepped up at the, the tight end, and um, Josh Sapp, how's he doing? Doing great, doing great. Sage just he missed a couple days, uh, kind of fell funny and. Had a little bruise on his back, but he's been back. Had, had a nice had a nice catch today. I think he had a little pop pass touchdown, but um, he's doing a good job. But I'm gonna tell you, man, Sap is. I'm so glad we got him. This kid is really really smooth. He's gonna be a very good player. He's, and I think it's just a credit to. I mean, he's a football kid, number one. But he's played quarterback. He's played receiver. He's played DN. He's played linebacker. He's played safety. He's played running back. This guy has played all these positions his whole life. He's been a really, really good basketball player. So, you know, he's just a really smooth athlete. And, you know, I'm glad we were able to redshirt him, but he, he's big, he's strong, but he can really run. He's sneaky uh, and bounces off people, really soft hands and has, has shown up. I mean, and we he really started to flash at the end, during our bowl prep, you know, in some of our, our competitive work with the JV. Uh, he's continued that. And, uh, the spring practice. Year two with Wes, how have you seen his coaching? Has he grown a little bit? What have oh, you yeah. noticed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just, you know, like anything. I mean, anytime, anytime you, you, you just 
get a little experience and do some things, you get better and better. And, you know, he's he's going to be a great one. I mean, he's, he's really, really talented. He's really gifted. Um, you know, he really understands things. Uh, but he's done a great job. He's got a great, you know, just just confidence to him and a great command to, you know, the room. And, you know, the, the biggest thing is just, man, the staff is really, really together and on the same page. And I'm really pleased with that. So, you know, it's been, a, it's been good work to this point. He's done a nice job. Has Gunn been pretty consistent with his kicks and um, at punter, um, any separation there? Uh, that's probably the biggest area that's probably not where we need to be. We're, we're not consistent right now, uh, really, at either one of those spots, you know. So, work to do for sure there. We got to just, you know, we do some good things and get excited, and then, you know, you, you, you want to look the other way. So, I mean, we, we're just not consistent. We're, we're, consistently inconsistent right now. So we, we got work to do. Not terrible, but just, I mean, we're not elite, not what we need. And, and we're talented, but we got to, just got to be more consistent. But we do have some competition going. So I do like that. Hopefully that'll drive it. I see young defensive ends, Cade Denhoff, Zaire Patterson. I guess how, what have you seen? Yeah, Zaire had a nice little, it's good to see him. He had a little pick six today off the tip <laughs> ball. Ball got tipped, he picked it and ran it back. And so, you know, he's just, he's a, He's just an inconsistent kid, you know. He just He's just got to make up his mind. He wants to be a great football player. Great guy, got all the talent in the world, but he's just, he's just got to make a decision that he wants to be great because he, he can do it. And Cade, man, love Cade. He's the same guy every day. He, he's a grinder. He loves it. He's unbelievably committed. Uh, the guy that's flashing is Jaheim. Jaheim is really, 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 uh, you know, showing some natural things. I mean, he's tough. He's physical. He's got. He's a natural pass rusher. He's probably one of our. He's probably top three pass rusher right now. Just pure pass rusher. And uh, but man, T.J. Parker is. You know, Maskell rolled his ankle, so he, he's been out. And then uh, obviously XT's out. So it's been good. And, you know, because again, it's kind of forcing the issue <laughs> with some of these guys competitively. And um, we'll see some good things from from all those guys. Armand Mason. Nobody even knows who he is. Y'all better y'all better learn who Armand Mason is. You know, because if he sticks with it here, he's going to be a problem. I mean, he's one of them guys who just we just got to keep watering him, right? You know, and, and, and maybe another – might be another year. He's just going to be a redshirt sophomore. It's Grady Jarrett's nephew. It might be another year, but I'm telling you about that. If that kid will stick with it before he leaves here, he is – he's, he's going to be a problem. That guy is fast and explosive. He came here about 190 pounds knowing nothing and now he's about 235 he's got about a 38 inch vertical he can really run and change direction and bend and he's still you know don't get me wrong he's he's not going to win any awards right now he's still a ways to go but he's a kid i just put on your radar that if he hangs in there and just keeps going he's he's gonna help us he's gonna help us it seems like the, hey we're gonna get really good at a few things I mean, we actually got a lot in. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, we're, we're we're just, you know, I think the biggest thing is just is just, you know, the plays we have, making sure we have complement to it, you know, off of it, and and to, so it's it's you know having some good answers, you know, um, that we can go to right away, you know, and, and I think it's all built in. It's really good, um, but you know, I think kind of simplified some things a little bit as far as just. Again, procedurally, cadence-wise, where our eyes are, some of that stuff. But you know, it's it's um, um, you know that's kind of what we want to do. We just want to be really good at what we do, and then make sure we got answers off of you know if they take it away, we got an answer for it uh, that's built in. So it's I think we're well on our way. Uh, we're just, you know, we're not where we need to be personnel-wise, but you know, all the guys out. But as far as install-wise, I think I think the guys have really caught on well. Quick Google search looks like Armand has some pretty good genes. Yeah, yeah, his dad, you know, is Anthony Mason, a great basketball player. And, you know, Grady's his cousin, first cousin. And, but uh, he's just kind of a, you know, late bloomer, off the radar kid out of Savannah. But he's, he's got a chance. He's got a chance, you know, eventually. Any explosives today from Antonio, Cole, any other guys? Oh, man, Antonio had a great day. Cole had a nice touchdown catch. Nice job fundamentally by him. I mean, and then a great throw, okay, you know, kind of put it right where it needed to be. Uh, Nate had great coverage, but, you know, just 
can't put it right where it needs to be. And, and uh, the Coles, Coles, uh, Coles, Coles are very, very special boys and girls. <laughs> with, with some of the young defensive linemen, is how much are y'all working some of those guys outside and inside? Yeah, we're moving around a little bit. We're just really trying to just rep the guys where they are right now. If we get, we've gotten thin a couple times and we've moved some guys, but we really want to just kind of evaluate everybody and we can figure all that stuff out later. Right now, we're just trying to play football. We're not trying to win a game, win a scrimmage. We just want to, we just want to, you know, it's not always going to be perfect, uh, but we can still play. We had pro day yesterday, and so he, he came in. I think he's going to hang out for a couple of days, just, just roaming around. What do you think of Trenton Simpson's pro day? I mean, what's not for? I mean, you know, I mean that's that's what we'd all like to look like in underwear, wouldn't we? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> life goals, right there, man. Jeez, uh, Almighty, he's. Uh, I mean, that dude's he's special. He's special. Jump. He wasn't even going to jump, and, uh, and the scout talked him into jumping. And I, I think he told him, "Hey, you're welcome." Uh, when it's over, he jumped like 40 and a half. I mean, he's just—he's, I mean, y'all know, that guy can—he's fast and strong, and, and a great, great human being. I mean, he's just an awesome kid. You just just gets just makes your heart smile every time you're around him. He's just a great kid. Hey, the ACC announced today that in a couple of years, Georgia Tech and Florida State are going to play in Ireland. Oh how, really? Yeah. How would you feel about taking the team? Man, overseas? let's do it. Hey, let's go international, man. It, hey, I mean, all we ever get to do is go to like you know Winston Salem and <laughs> places like that. You know, <laughs> Brownell and the boys they get to go to you know Hawaii and <laughs> Italy and you know, hey, spread the love a little bit. Another you know? day in Durham. Right? A little, yeah, 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 yeah. Another day in Durham. You have to uh, your own way to Italy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> let's go to, let's go to, let's go to uh, wherever. Let's go to the Vatican. My name is in the Vatican, just so you know. Yeah, my name Dabo is in the Vatican. Yeah, yeah. You look it up. I mean, Dabo. Y'all, I ain't told you. So when I got the job in '08, this guy comes up to me at the Shrine Bowl and he says, he says, "Hey, uh, Coach, do you know what your name means in Latin?" And I, and I, my exact words, I looked at him and I went, "My name's a word." You know, that's exactly what I said. My name's a word. You know, because my whole life, y'all can imagine, growing up in Alabama with a name like Dabo, you know. You, you, you get some ridicule, oh, oh, you know, it just kind of comes with it. And, and uh, but my name was that boy, right? That's how I got my name, Dabo, 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 Dabo. And, uh, you know, I just kind of, I, I, you know, I can only imagine my parents sitting around at some point in, in 1969, you know, maybe they were on drugs, I don't know, uh, going, Dabo, yeah, sounds good, we'll roll with that, you know? And so, you know, I've been Dabo, but you grow up with that. And then lo and behold, in 08, I go to Srambo and God tells me my name is a word. Uh, and I'm like, wow, and my name means I will give in Latin. Huh. And so later on, get to the Vatican and, you know, they got all them, all those uh, uh, Latin sentences, you know, and there I am. I'm right there, Dabo. And, and all them guys that made fun of me my whole life, I don't see Bill or Bob or John or, <laughs> I, you know, I don't see any of them. I, I don't see, I don't see Jeff up in the Vatican, but I'm in the Vatican, so let's go to Rome, and we'll, 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 do, a, we'll do a field trip uh, to the Vatican. That'd be fun. We'll play, well, we can't play it. The Coliseum's, Coliseum's a little, feels a little choppy, too. It's a little, it's a little messed up, but we'll find a place. Maybe we'll play out in the, where they used to do the chariot races yeah. in front of the the Roman castle or whatever. Junction boys playing in the <laughs> ruins over there. Do you yeah. have any Irish heritage? Uh, I think I'm Irish, Swedish. I'm I'm a little bit all that. I think that's what Sweeney is, you know. I mean, somehow or another, they got to North Alabama. Uh, apparently, I am from Phil Campbell, uh, uh, Haleyville, uh, Jasper area. Uh, you know, that's kind of where I'm from. You know, but I don't I don't I don't really know hardly anybody. Uh, I get a lot of people that say I'm cousin somewhere, but. Somehow they got to Alabama. I don't know how they got to Alabama. I don't know what it was. I guess coal, maybe. Maybe coal at some point. But somewhere along the line, I was Swedish or Irish or something. And by the time we reconvene, you're going to have a son married on. Yeah, right? man. I'm, I'm literally, if I can get away from y'all, I'm getting <laughs> on a plane tonight. And uh, 
I'm flying to Florida, uh, and we've got a uh, big day tomorrow, and uh, we got a little golf tournament on Friday, and, and yeah, Drew's getting married uh, to MC uh, Saturday night. So crazy, man. I mean, I just can't. They've been dating for six years, so I guess, I guess it's kind of at that point, and uh, so it's just. I just, I really, I really can't. I wrote my speech last night, you know, like, like I'm gonna have to like speak at the rehearsal dinner. And uh, that was really weird. Uh, it's just, cause you know, as a parent, those of you that are parents, you just look at your kids. You don't really ever look at them any different, right? You just look at them like you're, they're your little kid. And you look at the pictures and it's like, that was last week, you know, but now they're, you know, 23 and hair under their arm and getting married, you know, it's just, it's just like that. It's just crazy, man. But. Uh, it's a blessing. I'm excited to, you know, we hadn't had a Sweeney girl since, you know, in, in a long time. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, she's a good one. She's a she's a sweetheart. Well, six years ain't got nothing on you and Kat, though. No, no, no. They we, we got we got a little little bit on them, but uh, Drew was one and done. Only girlfriend he ever had, one and done. We saw Hunter over there uh, earlier. Would Coach, would Coach V be here too? I don't know if Coach V was here. I, if he was, I didn't see him. Uh, but Hunter, yeah, Hunter comes walking in like he's just a co-ed, just trying to blend in, you know, just. <laughs> Which he can. I, and I called him out on the microphone. He did not like that. <laughs> he doesn't like this microphone. Uh, but uh, he looks great, man. He's living in Greenville. He bought a house in Greenville and kind of settling in there. And he's doing great. He'll be there. He'll be in the golf tournament on Friday, so. That'll be uh, it'll be fun. We, there's been a lot of trash talk going on for about a week. Apparently, there's been some kind of, you know, we've had this little text chain going on, and I can't keep up with it because it's like, you know, it gets going, and it's like 20 texts in a row and you know, a bunch of trash talking. But I haven't played since July, but I am a gamer, and I am going to rise <laughs> to the occasion. So I'm excited about it. But I appreciate you asking. Thanks, Coach. All right.